Okay, so Glenn Kirshner and I will try to talk, talk each other down. Yeah, I, I, I saw that article and I was like, she's going to need some like, counseling. Oh, no. <laughs> really? Right before I go on vacation, really? Um, okay, so I yes, it's, I guess even though we knew this was going to happen, just in the Senate, just watching it happen was, uh, it's just, it, democracy is really hanging by a thread. We do not have another party that believes in it. Uh, no, 100%. And, I... I, I kind of want them to go back and just rewrite the bill because it, I, my issue with HR right. right now is that it doesn't address the fact that there's a takeover of the vote by the the, the right. state like yeah. legislature they, where they, they can, can just say, overrule. Right. They can just say, oh, never mind. Yeah. Right. That's the scariest piece of it. So, right. They, the Senate voted not to even advance debate on voting rights. Uh, senators voted 50-50, falling short of the 60 required on beginning debate on the For the People Act. So it is now the... Uh, the People Act, I guess, is that was what that was. Yeah. Uh, Joe Manchin came out against the bill, uh, offered his own compromise. As we know, he said earlier that he would be voting to advance debate again, touting his compromise offer, lamenting that Republicans have refused to allow debate on this legislation despite the reasonable changes made. Uh, everything's a surprise to Joe Manchin, isn't it? It's he's Char I, he's the Charlie Brown of the Senate. Okay, I guess uh, Chuck Schumer was, I guess pleased that something okay. I'm pleased to report that Senator Manchin and I have come to an agreement he came to my office oh about two hours ago and we worked it out Senator Manchin has informed me that he will vote yes on the motion to proceed to debate the legislation I have committed to him that if our Republican colleagues don't obstruct and allow us to move forward on the debate we'll take up his proposed substitute amendment as the first amendment we will consider so, some, you know I like my politicians happy clappy. Yeah. Amy Klobuchar, a lot of fight left in her still. Brian Schatz tweeted, authoritarians across the world and throughout history rely on the majority of people feeling hopeless. We didn't succeed tonight, but we cannot. We will not give up. Um, to which I say, here, here on that. Um, but so, they're saying like this is part of the process for Manchin. Yeah. But who has become Newman? Cinema. <laughs> Cinema. I Slowly, I turned. I give those to you just to you remind know, you. I, well, Lawrence O'Donnell said last night. You know, he knows a lot about the Senate. Yeah. he's a practically a Senate, you know, expert. Yes, yeah, having worked at it and whatever. He said it's the single dumbest thing he's ever read uh, about the Senate. What yeah. Kirsten Cinema wrote. It is just wrong on every count. He said it, and he said I have never been a critic of Kristen Cinema. I've never gone after her. This is the single most ignorant thing I've ever read about the Senate. Um, I don't she, remember which show it was, but somebody was talking about apparently uh, uh, Senator Whitehouse yeah. has like a PowerPoint presentation that he's outlined that goes through debunking all the, the bad history of the filibuster. Right. And it, like if she would have just sat down and watched that, she would know that everything she was saying is wrong about yeah. the filibuster. It, it, yeah. like he, they're going to well, go more on this. As I said yesterday, because I've dated her, not her specifically, but like close her. enough. Quirky. Super hot, super smart. Super pain in the ass. Wants to be seen as a maverick. A quirk. quirky, a quirky maverick. maverick. <laughs> yes. Um, that's what, uh, who is this? Oh, Michelle Goldberg. Uh, well, first of all, Chris Hayes made the point. Mark Kelly's not doing this. He's got the same electorate. Yeah. Um, Tammy Baldwin's not doing this. You know, that she has, has a... Split. Right. Um, this is just how she thinks she, things should be. So Michelle Goldberg said, I think Kirsten Cinema believes in herself as a quirky maverick. More than she believes necessarily what she's saying about the filibuster. It's it's like a McCain wannabe thing. But guess what? When he was a quirky maverick, he gave health care to millions of Americans. Yeah. Not not like curtsied while he, you know, did thumbs down yeah. to fifteen dollars an hour. It's just did you see she laughed yesterday? They asked her, What do you think about, you know, progressives that hope you'll change your mind? She's like, huh. Oh she, you know my what? She's God. Evil Doe's Day Chanel from the New Girl. This she's is like the, the quirky... worst breakup I've ever had, in that I've never met her, and it's but it's bad. Okay, uh, she uh, anyway. She said she was an opponent of the filibuster as a Green Party activist. Remember when she was uh -huh. pink-haired, oh, pink yeah. pink Ralph Nader, mm -hmm. anti-war. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> and so flipper? much and so much of what she writes in the latest op-ed is just transparently not true. She says that without the filibuster, when Republicans were in pow- are in power, they'd be able to defund agencies that Democrats care about. They would be able to privatize Medicare. But Republicans can do that on the rules we have right now. They can do that under reconciliation. And a quick fact check would have said that this is just incorrect. Similar to what she said when she defended the filibuster in the past, it's something that the Senate created to encourage comedy. So I don't know if it's just that she believes uh, facts that are wrong about the filibuster as much as she believes in maybe being the fulcrum of power in the Senate and sort of just not being another loyal Democrat. I mean, that's what you do. It's just, I don't know whether Manchin and Sinema are just enjoying being the focus of, like, you yeah. know, power and in the Senate. I, I don't know. But it's, it's, our, our friend Joyce Vance said it best. She said, increasingly, it looks like Democrats can either abandon the filibuster, preserve the right to vote, and hence democracy, or they can insist upon the filibuster only to see the GOP abandon it so they can solidify their grip on the country and minority rule. Um, that's kind of it, right? I mean, yeah. it's, okay. We were seeing those those tweets again where people are saying uh, the 50 senators who voted for, um, to, to proceed with debate yesterday, represent 48 million more. Than the 50 that voted oh, yeah. against it. We've yeah. seen those tweets all over. Right. Again. Ari Berman always does the, yeah. the numbers on that. Um, yeah, wait, do I have that? Do I have it? Yes. Uh, oh, here it is. Ari Berman said the 50 Democratic senators who support the For the People Act, which I don't know, what's the latest poll? 70, 80 percent of Americans are yeah. for it. Uh, or at least Manchin's compromise represent 43 million more Americans than the 50 Republican senators who oppose it. I mean, it's, this is why the Senate's broken. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's... Okay. Although, although did, you saw the tweet. Jamie, Jamie says, America, your democracy's in danger, girl. I'm sorry, go ahead, yes. Uh, did you see the tweet above it? I, that was from Ron Klain. That was a really interesting one they called. They point that out. Yes, <laughs> okay, so I was getting to this. Okay. Yes. Well, see, make sure oh you saw God. that. See, I say, if you think it there, and I say it. it here, and then it comes in a little puppet. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, Elizabeth Landers tweeted, I asked the number two Senate Democrat, Senator Durbin, what is the next step when the For the People Act fails to advance later today? Uh, I'm not sure. He hinted that POTUS, quote, is doing a lot of things that haven't been announced publicly. Ron Klain just put a little arrow <laughs> finger down and said, this is, uh, this, he said, this, is POTUS working on voting rights? Huh? <laughs> so, maybe, I, let's see. What maybe I, there's something I am in the background open that we to, don't know about. Yeah, I am open to whoever's got whatever <laughs> up their sleeve at this point. Whatever. I, don't, I mean, honestly. Yeah. It's, okay. Kamala Harris, that was the good thing, got to preside over the Senate yesterday, which it makes it. Xanadu. This is why we know this is a BFD. The Vice President of the United States was there. There was no Xanadu, though. No, there was no Xanadu in our headdress. Listen, a lot of our dreams <laughs> died yesterday, but that doesn't mean they couldn't reemerge in a different form. We can still have that dream. We have twelve. We- yes, uh, Vice MVP. Uh, suspicious in what way? Do you believe uh, that perhaps um, insiders? I'm trying to figure out how to word That's this wrong. within. No, twelve. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was like, who is that? Uh, Vice President Harris no, yesterday, 12, sorry. We, we'll have to redo it. Okay. Okay. All right. Then that is not 12. Travis was once again on crack. Too many CBD cocktails? Uh, no, okay. that was before that, and I don't know what's going on. So I'll look into it. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, Vice President Harris, that was um, because they obviously, she at her own request, by the way, um, w- you know, was asked to lead efforts to protect and strengthen voting rights. Um, so that was the first time she's presided over the Senate outside of having to cast the tiebreaker uh, and obviously her presence was a sign that they, this is a BFD, a BFD. Oh, I just need to, for my own sanity to stay with my happy clappy stack for a mm-hmm. moment. Uh, Nancy Pelosi said she will create a special committee to investigate the January 6th uh, <laughs> attack on the Capitol. A select committee. Thank you. There, yes. There, and there was a little bit of confusion. A about select that committee. Sorry. Afterwards, because uh, her chief of staff came out and said she would decide whether or not she would create a select committee. But then um, on on mm. on CNN, they, they were standing by the reporting that they had heard from sources in the room that she said she would announce that she's creating a select committee this week. Okay, we have we have a few things to talk to Glenn Kirshner about. Yes, and uh, also uh, Bob Seska, of course, Carlos Sells Rocky, and then Malcolm Nance tomorrow. Yes. Okay, nobody freak out. Calm down. We substituted our Malcolm Nance crystals with Glenn Kirshner, and you're going to like it just as much because where is justice? Where, I mean, seriously, justice have car trouble? Does, is justice what? Someone roofied justice. Justice has asleep. a, does justice have a UTI? What's going on this morning? She's taking a nap. She had a rough, she had a she's rough. taking a nap. Sle- is justice sleeping it off? She had a know. CBD cocktail. She's occupied. 
Okay, Brian Tyler Cohen, love it. He said, Joe Manchin, you said there would there would be 10 good people on the other side. There weren't. There wasn't even one good person on the other side. They failed your test, your justification for keeping the filibuster intact. That shouldn't come without consequence. So, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, one of the what's next is Joe Manchin. But then you're like, is this really going to come down to Kirsten Cinema? That she just, her commitment to having to be the quirky, you know, go your own way. Going rogue. That, so that reminds me of. That's what I see in yeah, my, I, my I head. Heard Sarah oh, going rogue. Steve, very strong. He going rogue. Yes, Kirsten, so strong. She going rogue. I'm in a mood this morning. You don't see. You can feel it's personal for me. It's personal. For Even me though too, I've never met her, it's personal. It's, it's, it's you know like, like some people just bring up your issues. Yeah. Yeah. I'm having sympathy pains for Mount you. Vesuvius of hot bisexual women. That. Never mind. I'm anyway. Hi, Sean. I'm back. Um, okay. three hundred. Okay, just Kavian Astroff on Twitter reminds us three hundred and eighty nine voter suppression proposals in forty eight states. It's un American. Yeah. And he is uh, correct. It's not like uh, okay. This is one thing, right? I mean, it's 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 like oh, it's a couple states, or it, it. We have got to do something yeah. about this. Or, or literally, our democracy's gone. And they're literally taking. The, I, I'm st I'm sorry, I'm stuck. I'm broken record on this one, but I'm yeah. stuck on the the state legislatures being able to take control of the vote, having right with. I mean, the, right. the Texas one, they didn't even have to show proof that it would have affected the outcome of the election. They right. can just say, we don't like this. We're throwing it out. Right. Oh, and this one, real quick, before because you know. How many stories on COVID do I send you every day? There were a I'm lot obsessed. yesterday. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Um, Sandy uh, tweets on uh, Twitter on Twitter says, uh, why is the press ragging on Biden for not meeting his goal with vaccinations? If Trump were still president, we'd all be dead by now. So STFU. Yeah. Thank you. We, I believe they took over 2% of us were vaccinated. We're, we're almost at 70. Yeah. We're going to, I mean, over 30, we are at 70%. Yeah. Right. So it's obviously the younger demographic which unfortunately the delta variant is hitting at a by the way i really started looking at the science of the delta variant and it really is terrifying yeah so you know the original one the next one was 50 percent more transmissible mm -hmm. this one is 60 percent more transmissible than that one that's evolution it's nature it's right. nature becoming stronger we're watching evolution of a right. virus right before our eyes it's more it's better equipped to survive by infecting people right right and i mean you know the right wing will celebrate that we're well, I mean, we're almost at 70 percent and we're, you know, again, but depending on age group and we will be shortly after that in July. It was a very ambitious goal. But you can tell people are like, oh, good. We made sure that both Biden did. it's not Biden. It's you. It's so you don't die and your loved ones don't die. Before the show, I was showing Sean, there's a map. Uh, Ron Klain tweeted it out that shows where the Delta variant is flaring. Guess what? It's the South. It's yeah. in the areas yeah. that aren't vaccinated. Yeah. I mean, it's you can just look at it and see it's going through the populations that. Oh, Florida coronavirus outbreak. Two employees dead as virus sweeps uh, Manatee County uh, government building. So two people are dead. Four are uh, hospitalized. Guess guess who's the only employee there that did not get it? Oh, the one that's vaccinated. There was the only one, one employee that was vaccinated. Yeah. Isn't that weird? I don't know what the connection is. Hmm. Well, I don't know. We'll ask Dr. Redliner. I'm not really sure. Thing. Yeah, I'm not sure what that could be. But anyway, and then I sent you a bunch of stories on Israel yeah. where they're having a surge. But it, if Israel knows anything, it's self-preservation. Mm -hmm. And they just like lock that down immediately. Yeah. They're making getting their kids vaccinated because the Delta variant is hitting there, uh, even among vaccinated people, because that's the Delta variant. Yeah. Your, your vaccines work, but not as well. And so anyway. They're getting everybody vaccinated. It's just, this is, it's so infuriating. Like the CDC just said yesterday, all of the deaths now are preventable. Yep. That's what's so infuriating. Everybody dying or hospitalized now is not vaccinated. Yeah. And that's what makes, like for my anti-vaxxer friend, it makes me scared. Guess who's more likely to get it? If you're unvaccinated and out in public, the virus is going to find you. Yes. You're the one that's not, to, and it, you're, okay. you're the one that's going to allow it to continue yes. to survive. Now I've gone too long, and now Sean's mad at me on top of everything else. 22 minutes after the hour, this portion of the show. I mean, do we even need to do a commercial for the Step Store? I mean, the shirts are flying off the right. Look at this. Look at it. Hey, look at that. Get your face up. Look, look. We have, and we have them for Team Pfizer, Team J and J. We are all Team Vaccine here. We have amazing, That's right. and you can get it on everything, right, Chris? Not just shirts. Bath mats, shower curtains. You can get it on art, a clock. 
You can get Duvet. a sexy bomb on a clock. We have Stephanie Miller swag. We have sexy liberal swag. And, of course, all the, the vaccine shirts. Get it now. StephanieMiller.com. Wee!